Hey YouTube, it's Manuel. Uh, so sorry I came in like that today. I'm recording by myself, so I just have a little tripod right there, and I had to uh, press the play button by myself today. Uh, today is Dialysis Talk 2, and I'm going to be talking about my medications, as promised. Um, so we're going to start off with my medication, the Darby. This is 80 milligrams. This is a high blood pressure. Um, take this once a day. This is my labetatol. Uh, this is 200 milligrams. I take this twice a day. Uh, this is also a blood pressure medication. Uh, and this is a moldupine, uh, 10 milligrams, and I take this once a day. These are uh, blood pressure. The reason I take three blood pressure medications is because I'm what's on call, what's called a three-tier system. Um, you know, since my kidneys don't work, uh, one of the things that kidneys do is uh, it regulates your blood pressure, but since my kidneys don't work that well, uh, or they don't work at all, actually, uh, I have out of control blood pressure if I don't take these medications. So that's why I'm on three blood pressure medications. Um, the Amodipine, it runs for uh, 1096, since this is the uh, generic uh, one. The uh, brand name is called Norvask. That goes for 208.79. I got these prices off the internet, so my pharmacy could be more, could be less. Yours could be different too. So. Uh, don't quote me on the exact prices, I just got these off the internet. Uh, the Darby runs for $170 around. Yeah, so that one's pretty pricey too. And the Labellatol, that goes for like 60 tablets since I take total a day. Um, it goes for around $30. So it's not that bad. Uh, I got insurance, so I just have to pay the copay on these, so it's not that much. Um... I don't have to pay the full prices, so because not that'd be really expensive. This is uh called calcium acetate. It's like a little blue pill. Uh, this is to control my phosphorus. I have to take three of these every time I eat. Ah, shoot. So that's that one. I don't know, baby. And uh, this is just your genetic Tylenol. Uh, I go through a lot of pain every day so my muscles hurt sometimes my joints uh, I get headaches um, cramp pain um, this helps a lot um, it puts me to sleep real quick all medications put me to sleep pretty quickly I can't take Advil because kidney patients can't take Advil because we don't have kidneys or our kidneys don't work that well so we don't have a way to clean it out so yeah, I feel these the next day, still, when I wake up. Like I said, they put me to sleep pretty quick. Uh, I'm just useless against medicine right now. It all makes me go to sleep pretty easily. Um, so, yeah, that's what I take right now. Uh, plus the injections I get at the clinic. I get Mercera, and that's to uh, help control my hemoglobin. Um, and I also sometimes get iron infusions when my iron levels are low uh... so i think right now my iron levels are fine so i haven't had to get iron in a while I'm trying to think of anything else i get um... that's all i get oh i used to take a medicine called Rinopol, and i was like 0.25 milligrams uh... cause i used to have restless leg syndrome because of the kidney disease uh, kidney disease also messes up your nerves nervous system so I used to get restless leg syndrome, and it used to affect me a lot. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Uh, but that got under control, so I don't take those anymore. And those made me feel really sick, so I'm glad I stopped taking those. It made me really nauseous and really angry. I don't know if you got the same side effects, anyone out there with dialysis or going through uh, uh, end-stage renal disease. Mm. Uh, that's, that's all the medicines I take right now. I used to take a lot more medications when I was my transplant. I had to take a lot of immunosuppressants. Uh, those are pretty expensive. All together, they run around, like, between three and five thousand dollars, maybe more, depending on how much you have to take, and that's all out of pocket if you don't have insurance. So you can see where that starts costing a lot of money towards 
the end of the year, you're like, oh, this is a lot of money. And if you don't have it, you just... Unfortunately, you're out of luck, you know, especially with the healthcare system. They don't really look after you. And it's unfortunate, so... I'm trying to think. I think that's it for Dialysis Talk 3. Uh, if you know anyone that's going through dialysis or end-stage renal disease uh, or anything, anything at all, uh, anything they need to get through, just share my videos with them. Uh, you know, you can message me. You can find me on Twitter, Manuel Platero 12 You can find me on Facebook. Uh, you got my YouTube videos. I'm not on Snapchat. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Manny Platero. So that's where I'm going to be putting the food videos. I mean, not the food videos, the food pictures up. I have two pictures of what I ate today that I'm going to put up tonight. Um, so yeah, what I say, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You got YouTube right now. Um, I still have to make the topic of dialysis talk three. That's what I might talk about my uh, when I first got diagnosed when I was uh, 13 about my FSGS. So, uh, yeah, I just want to thank everyone that's been watching my videos. I know I don't have that many subscribers right now. I'm still doing the uh, the uh, 3DS giveaway. So, uh, watch that video. I'll get the info. All you really got to do is subscribe. Uh, so, I'm going to do that giveaway uh, by, like I said, November 18th when the Pokemon Sun and Moon come out. Uh... Well, I just thank you for watching my video, guys. It means a lot to me. Uh, share my videos. I mean, I just wanted to get out there with people on dialysis. Um, I'm trying to see what else before I cut this video short. Oh, my dialysis machine is about to start right now. So, as you can see, I'm on dialysis right now. Um, this is becoming a great hobby for me right now. I'm going to cut this one short. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another video of thanking everyone that's been watching me. Uh, so please like, comment, subscribe. I reply to all my comments. Any questions you have, uh, I'm all open. Let's um, let's get these videos out to people on dialysis or anyone that's in need. All right, guys, you have a good day. Thank you. I'm gonna stop the video, so I'm gonna turn around, and uh, cause I don't have anyone to help me record today. Unfortunately, everyone's at work or busy, so I'm doing this by myself today. So have a good day, guys, or good night wherever you are. All right.